crying. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to talk um, a little bit about what I've, what's been on my mind and what I, um, just what, what I want to say, you know, in these videos. Um, and, and I feel like not a lot of people, I don't see a lot of videos about this, um, about how, you know, we, we only have two options, um, you know, we only have heaven or hell to pick from. We only have God or Satan, you know, we only have those two options. Um, there's no in between, like I used to think, there's no middle, there's no middle, and there's just two. And, you know, sometimes we say, you know, like I don't want to choose anything. I choose myself. But that's not how it works. You have to choose a side. You have to choose a side and you can't you can't be in both. You can't be, you know, one and then go to the other. You can't be in the middle. Um and and it's hard. It's hard sometimes when when you don't know, um, or just just circumstances that you've had, but um, we have to make a choice, and it's hard. It's a hard choice to make, but um, I feel like it's a, it's a obvious one. <laughs> it's obvious one. I mean, God is God is the way. God is the life. God is eternal um you know who wouldn't who doesn't want that and I feel like um people are are so um just how do I say it like um not open to hearing about God and and so open to everything else um, that the world has to offer but w when you start telling them about life about God about you know good news um, people don't want it people don't want to hear it and to me it's just like wow wow um, it's crazy we're living in crazy times and you know and it's just, it's it's hard. It's hard sometimes to understand. Um, I know. I mean, people people's choices. Um, but heaven is real. You know, heaven is real. It says it in the Bible. Um, hell is real. Um, I've I've heard also many testimonies. I've heard many many stories of people going to hell, like you know, having these dreams or actually feeling like they're actually there um, and hearing these testimonies um, it scares me, it gives me chills to even think like that that you know somebody would be can spend eternity in there and I want to make this clear God does not want you to go there this is why like he sends people to talk to you about him this is why he wants you to know the truth he wants you to know you know he that he loves you and he died for you and he wants a relationship with you and he, to, you know he wants you to accept him as your lord and savior he wants you your you know you have that opportunity um you know, if, if you want to be his child, you have that option. Um, what I've always liked to say, what I always tell people is God is God is never going to force himself on you. God is never going to, to say, you need to follow me or else. God is never going to do that. He gives us free will. He gives us the opportunity to decide to decide if we want him or not 
Um, and, you know, why not accept him? Um, he's forever, like, he's eternity, like, um, you know, I've, I've seen, <laughs> I see a lot of videos, how, how they say how this life, this life is nothing compared to the life we will be living with God in heaven, in eternity, that this life here is, is so small, like it's so, how do I say it, it's just not, not as long as we're going to be with God, that, you know, he's going to, there's going to be no, no sadness, no, he's going to take her, he's going to wipe her tears away, um, how there will be no, no evil in heaven, how everything will be good, how we will be happy, and, um, all of these promises, all of these things that it says in the Bible, you know, of how heaven is, um, and I want to be there, I want that, um, and there's also a lot of Bible verses about, you know, how, um, I wanted to bring my phone here, but I don't have it right now, and I do have my Bible with me, but, um, I, I'm not sure what the verses are, I was gonna look on my phone, but I don't have it right now, but, um, but it, I, I do know that it also mentions, you know, how hell is real, and how hell is, was meant for Satan and his demons, or his followers that, that you know, that, that got cast down from heaven, that, um, that he took with him, um, so, so you know that, imagine how, how, you know, he's going to be getting tormented, and, and why would anybody want to be there? Like, I feel like people are not taking this, like, seriously. Um, this is serious. Like, it's real. You don't want to be there. You want to be with God. You want to be as close to God as possible when this happens. Um, and... And we have to pick, you know, like I mentioned in the beginning, we have to pick, pick a side and, um, take, take it seriously, I feel like, um, really, really have that, you know, if you, if you do pick God, really try to have that relationship with God, really try to seek Him, try to, um, follow Him, um, definitely, um, definitely have that relationship with God, um, you know, prayer, fasting, um, serving Him, and obeying, you know, His Word, and it's not, it's not easy, but I feel like God definitely, definitely gives us the strength that we need, and He helps us every day. He is, you know, helping his children and um there is battle there is a battle for your soul for people's souls and that we can't see but there is there is a battle against good and evil and we need to pick a side we need to pick a side and i feel like a lot a lot of people just say i don't believe in anything but, um, that's not how it works. You only have two options. It's either heaven or hell. And, um, you know, Satan is a thief. Satan comes to kill steal and destroy comes he is you know so evil 
so evil and he, he he's a liar. He, he comes disguised, like I've said, it's not, but he comes disguised, and I don't get tired of saying this because it's the truth. He comes disguised as the most, as an angel. He comes disguised as an angel, but under that, it's evil. It's evil. And it's disgusting, and it's far from that. And we need to, we need to open our eyes. We need to open our eyes to the truth, to what is really going on. We need to open our eyes to the reality that there is, that there is heaven and hell, that there is good and there is evil. And um, I know I, I really wanted to, to talk about that. Um, it's it's been in my heart. Um, I wish I had some Bible verses. I will probably be posting them um, down below, and um, just some of the Bible verses if you want to take a look at them. Um, but man, God is real. God is real, and and I've I've seen I've seen a lot of things. I've seen a lot of things that uh, that. Um, have also, um, I mean, I already believed, but you know, just confirmed my my belief um, that there's there's two, you know, there's good and there's evil, and um, and I definitely believe that, and um, and I hope you you pick God. I hope you pick to follow the right path. The right, the right option, because God is good, and God is eternal. God is going to be forever. Um, you know, God is life. God is life. God is light, and um, God is good. Um, that's that's mainly what I wanted. I wanted to talk about